this lesson, we are going to use the SI prefixes and Mighty Ken Henry mnemonic device to write conversion factor between two units. Here I have the Mighty King Henry. I only wrote the first letters. Now let's go back and figure out the value of the prefixes for each of the letters. We are going to start with the base because base is the easiest one to memorize because 10 to the 0. Going this way towards mega, the exponents increase by 1. Going towards the pickle, the exponents decrease by 1. One way to memorize going towards mega, the exponents increase, is look at the mega, it's capitalized. But pickle is not. So we're going to start with the exponent that going towards mega. So this one is 10 to the 1 tens to the 1, tens to the 2, tens to the 3, tens to the 4, tens to the 5, tens to the 6. Tens to the negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10, negative 11, negative 12. And keep in mind that these are the exponent that are negative going towards pickle. Keep in mind all these numbers are exponents with the base of 10. So 10 to the power on the computer program you will represent 10 as a capital E and then you will have your number. However on the calculator button it will always be EXP or EE -E. and this one will be the computer so we're gonna learn how to write a conversion factor for centigram and gram let's look at centi one centigram equal to let's look at centi 10 to the negative 2 so 10 to the negative 2 gram but on the computer we will have to input it as the 10 to the negative 2 will be capital E negative 2 gram. So C and 10 to the negative 2 centi is equal to 10 to the negative 2. Now numerator is on top, denominator is on the bottom. We are going to learn how to submit our answer. Write your conversion factor with a numerator as measurements with a base unit. All right, our numerator that have a base unit. So which one is my base unit? Gram. So therefore, capital E, negative 2, power, and gram. Denominator will just be my 1 centi gram. And let's write it into fractions so that you have an idea how it looked like. So my numerator, like I say, it will be E negative 2 gram divided by the denominator is 1 centigram. And this is how it looked like when you are writing it into fraction. However, this is how you will submit your answer but you need to understand how to write it into a fraction before submitting your answer now we're gonna learn how to rewrite the conversion factor above with the numerator as a measurement with a unit with a prefixes ah the first one numerator it would a base unit but now a numerator with a prefix it so same thing we have our numerator divided by our denominator and which is but here your numerator had to be prefixes keep that in mind so it's going to be one centigram divided by the denominator e to the 10 power of negative 2 now let's submit our answer so your numerator is 1 centigram your denominator will be capital E negative 2 gram 
okay? Now you should see a pattern, okay? A centi will always be a 10 to the negative 2. So this is your prefixes right here. We always have to put a 1 in front of our prefixes. And now let's go back and look at our letter C. Letter C on the mighty, mighty King Henry is 10 to the negative 2. So 1 centigram equal to 10 to the negative 2 gram. Now let's put it into fractions. So for this one, 10 negative 2 gram divided by 1 centigram equals to, this one I put it into fractions, numerator divided by the denominator. The numerator is 10 to the negative 2 gram divided by 1 centigram. But look at here, they flipped. And uh, they can flip because the numerator and divide by the denominator, they all have the same value. Second problems, okay? It asks you to write your conversion factor with a numerator as a measurement with a base unit. So my numerator is gonna be my base unit. So liter is going to be my base unit. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my one milliliter Okay, so I had to go back to on the mighty King Henry. So the letter M have a 10 to the negative 3, 10 to the negative 3 liter. But however, when we input it into our computer, the 10 will represent capital E to the negative 3 liter. Okay, now let's put it in our fractions. Now, my numerator must have a base unit. So which one have a base unit? And my base unit is letter L. Look for the only one with the letter L. So this will be my numerator. My denominator is gonna be one milliliter. Now let's submit our answer. Numerator, capital E, okay. Denominator is one milliliter. Okay. Now let's move on to rewrite the conversion factor above with a numerator as a measurement with a unit with a prefix. So first thing you do, you have your numerator divided by your denominator. Okay. And this time, my uh, prefixes. So I'm going to look for prefix, something with milliliter, because M is my prefix. So therefore, it's going to be 1 milliliter divided by my denominator. This time, my denominator had to be a base, so which is liter. So it's going to be capital E, negative 3, liter. Submit our answer in the box. Numerator, one milliliter. Denominator, capital E, negative three, liter. So, remember that one, one is the value always in front of a prefixes. So one milliliter, and look for milliliter on the mighty, Hen mighty King Henry, which is 10 to the negative three. So that 10 to the negative three for the liter, and here I put them into fractions, but you notice that they can flip. It's because they still have the same values.